Hey guys, we are back in a new game today, and it is called To the Moon. And I'm very excited because this is actually a game I've never watched, been watched, played, I've never played it myself, I've never touched this game, but I have only heard amazing things about it, and all I know is the song from this game, and I am so excited to play it. And I'm a little behind on getting on this bandwagon, but I don't care. I hope, I hope you enjoy, if you've already watched it, at least enjoy joining me on this journey. So, um, that was stupid, but that's okay. Let's, I am excited. Let's play this game. Oh no. Thoughts. Angry face. Where were you looking, Neil? Oh, hold on. <laughs> well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyways. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us! Hmm. We'll just say it was. I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine. Whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. Good. Go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. I received equipment. Got this idea. Let's roll. Smoking hot car. Um, let's go this way. Hey, wait. Don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. How thoughtful of you. The, the clicking, though, is kind of annoying. But hey, I'll get over it. Oh. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers. Cucumbers? We don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with? Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Just push it. Between two people, I think you got it. Alright, on three. One, two, three! Oh shit. We are strong! I. I don't even. What was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. Uh, we need to get going for now. We'll. We'll figure that thing out later. Right. Just to figure out the bouncing boulder later. Ma, they're here. I like that she walked up, but she still couldn't see because of the, the thingies. 
Not a bad place to retire it, huh? Yeah, I can do better. Night shifts, love them or hate them? You know the answer, you stupid owl. I'm a stupid owl! Mimi? It's probably gonna be an all-nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will... She gave me that. Don't forget the equipment, moron. <sighs> I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> Top four watts. I was walking backwards with it. That's adorable! Act 1. I never told anyone, but I always thought they were lighthouses. Surprisingly, it's kind of sweet. Dr. Watts... Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosalind, I presume. Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay, I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I am just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. Typical children names. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. Sorry, there's a phone call. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks up, yeah. excuse me, Jesus Christ, that was gross. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with an insurance claim. It's received equipment. All right, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Um, let's go. Go upstairs. Yeah. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. That is a very pretty song. Don't care if it's a boring two notes, it's pretty. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one that said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I am the one who is carrying the weight of a small meteor. Yeah, yeah, come on. Oh. I like that. Um, I'm guessing you are the doctor. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Now we're ready. Ready to set up? Yeah. Yes, it'll- the uh, Yes, it'll just be a moment. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries. We're the experts. Oh, crap. Standard procedures. 
Just keeping you on your toes. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> that is some machine now. How's he doing? Not so well, if I were to say. If I were to say he's just got a. If, if I were to say he's just got a day or two left, that's plenty of time. So, you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed because we're awesome! So, what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That, I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paperboy for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you two. Mm, so be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? I like Dr. Watts. I'll do it. I once played Sherlock Holmes in a high school musical. I remember you playing Watson. Meh. Same thing. Just configure this. I got it started, anyway. Oh, does she not know what to do? My children can show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. Alrighty. Let's go look at these pictures. Oh, there's an arrow going there. I wonder if that's another way downstairs? Go look at this. A painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. A painting of an animal of some sort. Looks like a duck. A casual painting of three people. Alrighty. That gave me nothing. What's in here? Excuse me, pardon me, I gotta go the long way. Excuse me, pardon me, okay. I went under the bed. This is a bathroom! Oh, it's that shiny. Oh, does it just mean I can turn it on? Um. Okay. It's a bathroom. Can I not do anything? I guess not. Okay. Bye! Oh. Um. Okay, bye! Bye! Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. I should probably talk to you guys. You guys! Tommy and Sarah can take you around the house if you need any assistance. They're probably downstairs at the piano. You already told me that. Here, take this. A remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. I hope there's no self-destruct button. I seem to have a knack for those. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in the menu. Um. Notes. Oh, is that it? Items. Okay. Okay, now we know how the old man is doing. <laughs> Sorry kids, I just turned off the light. Don't worry about it. Hey kids, talk to me. What you want? Show around the house. Hey, your mom told you to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. 
maybe? I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah! <laughs> Alright, let's talk. What do you punks want? We want one trillion dollars! I don't know why the kid's hick. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah! Or that! Uh, what? There is a giant candy cane on top of the high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Mom put it in there, it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well... Sure. You're lucky I don't want to walk up the stairs again or I just tell your mother. The kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Now go! You bossy. You bossy! It's almost like some kind of a terrible quest to get my night started. <laughs> I guess it is. This isn't the kitchen. Yes. I want to look around. You're supposed to look around! Ooh. Someone painted. Was it the old man who painted? What's this? The tale of a girl- Duskelight. The tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the spell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> Read passage. Uh, maybe next time. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's pretty good. I like that. Let's go down the kitchen doors by the other stairway. The kitchen doors by the other stairway? What? Where's- oh, is that it? Is this the kitchen? There's the candy cane! Oh. I'm too damn short! Um, move this chair. Um, move this. Move this. Aha! I better get that stupid candy cane for them while I'm here. Alright. Okay, well, get up there and get the candy cane! You dumb... Oh yeah, it's like taking candy from an inanimate baby. Alright, let's go. Here you go, kids. I got your candy cane now. Let's rot your teeth out, shall we? Alright, kiddos. I was against a lot of odds back there, but I got the candy cane. It's probably a decade old and tastes like rubber, but you can use it like a walking stick. All right, where do we start? I know, there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. Uh, what kind of funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys, though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. Is it desk light? Is the book desk light? Is it the desk light book? This is the book. This is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Is it dusk light? The one about the girl who fell in love with a zombie. It smelled like dandelions. Uh, the Pilgrim's Guide to Origami, Volume One: The Key to Avoiding Paper Cuts. Oh Jesus! The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami has already supplemented the Great Wikipedia Origami. Origamia is the standard repository of all knowledge and wisdom about paper folding, for though it has many omissions and contains much that is apocryphal or at least widely inaccurate, it scores over the older, more pedestrian work in two important res respects. First, it is made of paper, and secondly, it provides numerous band-aids to make up for the inevitable paper cuts resulting from reading of this book. Sure. For the Grand Origami Master, it is absolutely essential for each origami to be completed in exactly 42 moves. In most origami tournaments, scissor cuts are considered cheating, but uppercuts are deemed legal. <laughs> Let's read the passage. Oh, maybe next time. The man sure knows where to hide things. Ah, because nobody wants to read it! I got it! Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. Until one day I threw one back and he needed a band-aid. <laughs> Tommy, 
just a bunch of books in here. They've nothing I don't know about, though. They've nothing I don't know about, though. Because I'm a smart kid. Okay. We can open the funny room in the basement now. All right. Let's do this, children. Oh, God, it's so dark. This is the basement. We play hide-and-seek in here. Turn on the lights before you trip over something. Yes, sir. Um, hold on. I'm gonna look around. Chest is locked. Oh, well. Ain't that convenient. Um. The chest is locked. Chest is locked. Cabinet is filled with dusty books. Cabinet is filled with dusty books. Okay, well. I'm gonna go unlock the door now. Hold on, we'll talk to you kids. Once we were down here and the lights were out and Tommy fell down those stairs. He chipped a tooth, but that's okay because he's ugly to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> These kids are great. We used to find all kinds of cool junk junk of cool junks here. Moldy books, moldy buckets, moldy cheese, you name it. Lots of mold. That's cold. Oh, it is very dark. Hold on. It is very dark in here, and I'm fixing something. Not that you need to know about it, but... Because I'll cut this out anyways. Of my paws, but... Just in case you're wondering! Uh, let's go turn on the light, shall we? Oh my god! It's a bunch of bunnies! Um... A rabbit folded out of paper. A broken music box. A stuffed toy platypus. What a hideous little creature. Poke it. Sit it up. Poke it. Okay, sorry. Take it. Receive toy platypus. This is kind of weird. Did you see it? What do you kids know about all those rabbits? Nothing! The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There's more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys! Let me guess, you aren't supposed to go in there either? Hee <laughs> hee! Remind me to never keep any locked cabinets around you two. So, you want to go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather windy outside, but... Oh, to heck with it. I'm Dr. Watts. Mere wind can't stop me! Come on, let's go kick some butts. That's his... I'd go too, Dr. Watts. Why is there weird music now? Oh, we're so fast. We're so fast. I'm guessing the lighthouse is up here. There we go. There it is! We need to head south to the street and take a, the other path to get down to it though. Yeah, I forgot my parachute. Okay. We gotta go down to the street. We gotta go- Oh, okay, I know where we need to go. Follow me, kids! You don't know me from Adam, but guess what? You're gonna follow me anyways, because I'm a doctor. And I'm not any old doctor. I'm Dr. Watts. I heroically- Missed a squirrel and wrecked a car, and I still live. It's here! Uh. My novelty beach ball! I thought I lost it! Oh. It's stupid anyway. Oh, I'll never lose it again! I'm gonna hide it, don't look! Uh, we don't have the time for the. Okie done! 
Right. Now let's just head to the lighthouse. He did hide it. I don't know where he hid it. It's smoking! Who's the dummy that <laughs> Who's the dummy that crashed a car? That was, uh, Dr. Rosalyn. Yeah. Oh, Dr. Rosalyn. <laughs> you bad driver. You killed a squirrel. That's the story and I'm sticking- Oh, a square well! <laughs> a square well! A square well. Don't worry, kids. I got this. <laughs> oh my god! Tsunami kick, tornado punch, shoe, other shit. <laughs> Killing bottom loudest. This ends here! Yeah! Stop it, a rule! Tell my you animal abuse! Yeah, she'll call the cops on you. Oh, come on. I wasn't actually gonna... Don't you like role-playing? <laughs> you should be ashamed of your you self. Let's name it Teddy. Okay! Let's just go. My whole night is ruined. What bird? That was pretty damn funny. I enjoyed that. I swear to God, Sarah, if you actually don't have the key... Wait, what's that over there? In memory... in memory of River E. Wiles. River Wiles, huh? Was she John's wife? Don't know. Come on, the lighthouse is right here! <sighs> Fine, child. This is it! A multicolored paper rabbit. Hey, hey, this wasn't here when we came last week! Oh yeah, Johnny must have come, came here before he fell ill again. Two colors, huh? Am I the one who's a little creeped out by these, though? Yeah, you are. Yep. What the... Someone's calling me. Ah, should've guessed. Yeah, yeah, we're coming! Blah, blah, blah! Alright, let's head back. As for this... Guess we just took it. What the cactus were you doing? Burning ants with a magnifying glass. Using moonlight. Okay, I was taking a nap then. God, it's so hard to be smart ass nowadays. God, it's so hard to be a smart ass nowadays. You're pretty good being half of it. Your helmet's on the couch. Get it on, we're going in. Ready or not, here it goes.
This should be the last accessible memory. Deba disable speech for all except Johnny. Done. Let's get him. At any time, you can view your position in, in time by moving the mouse toward the top of the screen. Oh, that's cool! Alright, well, we got into the dream world, I guess. So, I guess we should end it here and... Let's see how things go! I'm excited! So, um, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of To the Moon. It's very, it's actually extremely hilarious. I love the, the writing in this game. It's great. The, the, the conversation. Dr. Watts is my favorite. Alright. I guess I, this is it for this episode, and I will see you in whatever else I decide to record. Thanks, guys. Bye. Open eye. Through the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing